So what are we looking at here? Well, um, this, is, this is the entrance to the sump. And basically, we're seeing the area where it drains out. And you can see when I was, uh, from the way some of these formations are, these, this is what's left behind as a result of erosion, as water, elements, wind, etc., cetera, has uh, kind of carved out. And the reason that I, they're left behind, it's made out of a harder material, a harder stone. Generally, these are, are like the uh, remains of petrified tree uh, stumps. And over here, you can see it looks like a wood pile from a distance, but oh, yeah. let's get up close. And you can see it's wood colored rock. <laughs> So, these are rocks. Yeah, these are rocks. So now, is this petrified wood? Yeah, I mean, this was is it basically wood? like what? Yeah, this is petrified wood. You can see in some of them, some of the, uh, you know, some of the, the the wood grain in it. Look over there. If we want to walk up to this yeah. ridge, um, it just looks like a whole bunch of piles of wood. Oh yeah, there. there. It looks like uh, each one looks of like these uh, sawdust right, falling little here sawdust and here and piles. Here. And each one of these is re remains of of where there was a tree stump at one time and it's kind of eroded down. How can such a place exist? Well, the story behind it is really fascinating. 25 million years ago, this was part of an ancient lake known as Lake Esmeralda. Runoff carried mud and other sediment into the lake and over the eons, it dried and hardened, leaving behind it the multicolored landscape of today. But that's not all. Volcanoes sent ash into the air, which then covered the crust. Millions of years of geological upheaval, eruptions, and erosion from wind and water then combined to create this mile and a half of natural sculpture. Is this the tower that you see in the Yeah, photos? this is the one you see in all the photographs. That's is a, this one right that's here. That's the one I recognize. Yeah. But yeah, this is one of those petrified tree stumps. And you can see, it's probably the best example in the sump. Uh, you can see the, the wood at the top and then the way that it's eroded down. So. Now I just dare you to climb it, Dave. Oh, you know, <laughs> I was just about to. What? I think it would do a little damage to try to climb it. Oh, yeah. boy, I don't think I'd be getting too far up no. this. But you can see, this slick. is a pretty fragile place. Yeah. I mean, this yeah. is just it's, it's kind of a clay material. Even this, you know, just feeling it. Yeah. You just feel the brittleness of it. Exactly. And it's, you yeah. know, it's, it's so delicate, you want to leave it as is. Right. It's great to look at, though. Yeah.